pick up on one foot. Theory of a pick up on one foot. As in a pick up change, but landing on the ball of same foot. Must not travel backwards. So it's a pick up on one foot, followed by a pick up on the same foot. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Do not allow yourself to move. When you begin this, you will find you do move back a little bit. With practice, you'll find you land on the spot. These pick up exercises are actually very good to practice holding on to a bar. That probably would have been a better idea for me because I could then show them a lot slower for you. So, pick up on one foot. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Make sure you get that nice heel drag bit in the middle of each one. And again. Pick up. Pick up. That's a pick up on one foot. Pick up spring. A pick up followed immediately by a spring. It cannot be repeated. So starting on one foot. As soon as you've done the pick up with this heel that I'm standing on, you will land on the ball of the other foot. That's why we cannot repeat it, because look, a spring finishes on the ball of the foot. And you remember, a pickup needs to start on the flat of the foot. So we can only do this one time. Show you again. The pickup that I've just shown you, but you land on the ball of the other foot after you've pulled this heel back. One sound. Again, pick up spring. Theory of pick up hop. A pick up followed immediately by a hop. It cannot be repeated. So again, we pick up on the one foot. When we land on the ball, we will hop. Pick up. That's quite a hard one. I wouldn't recommend that for beginners because they always land on the floor. So you'll pick up on one foot, followed immediately by a hop on the same foot. Again. Pick up. Pick up change. The theory of a pick up change. Stand on one foot, flex knee. Turn up the toe of same foot. Slap foot back with elevation, hitting the ground with ball of foot, removing heel and landing on the other foot. Which basically means we do the pick up on the one foot and change feet, doing a pick up on the second foot. So, pick up change, 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 pick up change. So these pickups, remember, land on the flat of the foot. That's how they're different from a pickup spring. Pickup spring, you finish on the ball of the foot after the pickup, and it cannot therefore be repeated. The pickup change, finish on the flat, so you can repeat it immediately. So it's a pickup landing on the other foot, and another pickup land on the other foot. Make sure you get that nice slap sound. Double pickups, which means doing the pickup on both feet at the same time. So, two feet, do pick up at one time, flex your knees, pick up, pick up. You will find you travel backwards more on these. Pick up. They're a nice progressive backward movement if you want to use pickups traveling. Ripples. 
These are like pickup changes, but finishing with a heavy heel beat between each one. So we'll make our pickup change, but land on the ball and bang down the heel. Pick up change, but land on the ball, bang down the heel. Pick up change, land on the ball, bang down the heel. Pick up change, heel. Change, heel. Change, heel. Really get that heel beat on the end in. That's what makes a ripple sound so nice. And that is one of my favourites.